Good afternoon. How are you today? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Fantastic. So, I wanted to talk to you about some self-study techniques that could really boost your English skills. How do you usually go about studying on your own? Well, I try to read English books and watch movies with subtitles, but sometimes I feel like I'm not making much progress. Those are great starting points. Reading and watching movies are excellent ways to immerse yourself in the language. To enhance your reading, I recommend picking books that match your current proficiency level, but also challenge you a bit. Have you tried any specific genre or author? Not really. I just pick whatever looks interesting. That's a good approach. It keeps things engaging. For more structure, you might want to consider setting specific goals. For instance, aim to finish a certain number of pages or chapters each week. This will give you a sense of accomplishment and help you track your progress. That makes sense. I'll try that. What about watching movies? When watching movies, try to find ones that are not too complex in terms of language. You can start with subtitles on, but challenge yourself to turn them off gradually. This will improve your listening skills and help you get used to the natural flow of conversation. Turning off the subtitles sounds scary, but I guess it's worth a try. It might be challenging at first, but you'll adapt quickly. Another effective technique is keeping a journal. After reading or watching something, write a short summary or your thoughts about it in English. This helps reinforce what you've learned and improves your writing skills. That sounds like a good idea. I never thought about keeping a journal before. Also consider incorporating English language literature into your reading routine. Reading novels, short stories or poetry not only exposes you to different writing styles, but also provides cultural insights. I like the idea of reading literature. Do you have any book recommendations? Depending on your interests, you might enjoy classics like To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, or contemporary works like The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Choose something that resonates with you. I'll look into those. Thanks for the suggestions. Now, let's explore the world of language through storytelling. Have you tried writing your own short stories or essays in English? Writing stories? No, I haven't really thought about that. Writing can be a powerful tool for language development. It allows you to apply grammar rules, expand your vocabulary and practice constructing sentences. Start with simple stories about your day or create fictional scenarios. It's a creative way to reinforce what you've learned. That sounds interesting. I'll give it a try. Another technique is to find a topic you're passionate about and create a mini presentation in English. It could be anything you enjoy, a hobby, a favourite movie, or even your future plans. This helps build your ability to express yourself 
in more detail. I like that idea. I can talk about my favourite movies in English. Perfect. Now, let's discuss something that combines both reading and writing. Have you ever tried creating a blog or journal in English? No, I haven't. What would I write about? Anything you like. It could be your experiences, thoughts on a book or movie you've enjoyed, or even your language learning journey. Writing regularly helps reinforce grammar and vocabulary while providing a creative outlet. Writing a blog sounds interesting. I'll give it a shot. Great! Another technique is the use of mnemonics for memorization. When you come across new words or phrases, create associations or mental images that link to their meanings. This can help you recall and retain information more effectively. Mnemonics, like creating memory aids. Exactly! For example, if you're learning the word ephemeral, you might associate it with a soap bubble, something beautiful but fleeting. These mental connections can make learning more memorable. I see. I'll start creating some mnemonics. Now, let's talk about the importance of feedback. Have you considered recording yourself speaking in English and then listening to the recordings? Oh, I don't really like the sound of my own voice. It's a common feeling, but recording yourself is a valuable technique. It helps you identify areas for improvement, such as pronunciation or fluency. You can also track your progress over time. I guess it could be useful. I'll try recording myself. Moving on. Have you considered labelling things around your home with their English names? That's an interesting idea, like putting sticky notes on objects. Exactly! Labelling common items like your refrigerator, door or even your computer helps reinforce vocabulary in your daily life. It turns your surroundings into a constant language learning environment. I'll give it a try. But what about speaking practice? Speaking practice is crucial and you can do it even when you're alone. Try narrating your daily activities out loud in English. It might feel a bit strange at first, but it's an effective way to improve your fluency and pronunciation. That sounds challenging, but fun. I'll start talking to myself in English. Have you considered changing the language settings on your devices, like your phone or computer, to English? I haven't thought about that. How does changing settings help? When you change your device's language settings, you're constantly exposed to English in everyday situations. This can strengthen your vocabulary and help you get used to common phrases used in technology. That sounds useful. I'll give it a try. Great! Another immersive technique is to follow English-speaking social media accounts or join online communities where discussions happen in English. Platforms like Reddit or Facebook can expose you to informal language and diverse perspectives. 
I'm already on social media, but I mostly follow accounts in my native language. I'll start following some English accounts too. Now, let's talk about something more immersive. Podcasts. There are many English language podcasts covering a variety of topics. Find one that interests you, whether it's about technology, culture, or even language learning itself. I've never really listened to podcasts in English. Any recommendations? Absolutely. For language learners, The Fluent Show and All Ears English are fantastic. They cover language tips, cultural insights, and interviews that can enhance your listening skills. Thanks, I'll subscribe to those. You're welcome. And speaking of listening skills, music can be a fun way to improve them too. Choose songs with clear lyrics and try to understand the meaning. There are even lyric websites that provide explanations for idioms or cultural references. I love music. That sounds like a fun way to learn. Awesome! And speaking of fun, have you tried playing English language games or quizzes? Not really. I didn't know there were language games. There are plenty. Apps like QuizUp, Scrabble, or even language learning games on platforms like Duolingo can make the learning process enjoyable. They often incorporate competition and rewards, adding a fun element to your study routine. I like the idea of making learning more fun. I'll check out those games. Another effective self-study technique is using language learning apps. Have you tried any of them before? Yeah, I've used a couple, but I'm not sure if they're really helping. Choosing the right app is crucial. Some are more interactive and tailored to individual needs. For vocabulary building, apps like Duolingo or Memorize can be quite effective. They use gamified elements to make learning more engaging. I've heard of those. I'll check them out. Good. Also, for grammar, an app like Grammarly or Babbel can provide focused exercises. They often give instant feedback, helping you understand and correct mistakes. That sounds helpful. I'll download those too. Lastly, consider incorporating technology into your reading. Ebooks often have built in dictionaries, making it easy to look up unfamiliar words. You can also use apps like Kindle or Audible for audiobooks. I never thought about using ebooks. That's a good tip. I'm glad you find it helpful. Remember, the key is to mix things up to keep it interesting. Different methods engage different aspects of language learning, making your overall progress more well-rounded. I appreciate the advice, teacher. I'll give these techniques a try and see how it goes. Fantastic! Experiment with these methods and find what works best for you. If you ever feel stuck or have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Happy studying! Mm-hmm.